Jay, what's the, the first step for you uh, when you come in and take a look at the game plan? Uh, just try and get it. Uh, you know, obviously it's early in the week, so the more the week goes goes by, the, the uh, more comfortable everyone will be with it. Today's the first day of getting the, the game plan, so we haven't even gone out and practiced it yet, but um, just try and get it down better and better each and every day. Does your routine change? You know, after you know, have you carried over anything from what Jimmy has done to change your routine up this year as opposed to last year? Um, as opposed to oh, when I was playing before. last year. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, I mean, I like you got to prepare as a backup guys if you are a star. So, I mean, I'm doing a lot of the same things except you know I am meeting with. You know, I'm going to meet with Kyle and you know, our quarterback's coach. So, you know, a little bit more um, just to go over little things here and there, you know, after practice, uh, before practice, and uh, stuff like that, just to make sure we're all on the same page. The other day, you mentioned after the game, you felt like the experience you got last year would make it a little easier this year, mm -hmm. stepping back in. In what ways? Uh, just having that experience. I mean, having gone out there and um, played in, you know, in, in, in five you know, NFL games and uh, there's there's not nothing you can do to, to simulate those reps in practice. Um, the only way you can do it is by going out there and, and actually getting those game time reps and uh, you know just being another year in, under the system and in Kyle's offense uh, it helps a ton. Just the knowledge of the offense, you know, getting through progressions quicker and um, all that kind of stuff. He was he was just saying he thought one of the things is that you'd have a better understanding of the whys of mm -hmm. why things are happening. Do you do you feel like you have a far greater Understanding of that stuff. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, it's year two for me in this offense. So, um, with with any you know extra time doing something, the better you get at it, and uh, you know definitely understanding more of the whys, why um, certain things happen, why this guy uh, we think he'll be open. You know, you know why we attack certain things for certain coverages and and stuff like that. CJ, it's kind of a cliche about the backup quarterback always being ready, but can you describe? Kind of what the mentality is every week when you never know when your your day might come. Yeah, I mean it's it's you, you know people say it, but you know no one really you know believes that you really are one play away. You just never know when that play is going to be. It could be, you know, you could play zero an entire season, or you could be you know playing in the third game of the year. It's just you never know. That's why you got to make sure you're prepared as much as possible and uh, prepare as if you are the starter, uh, just because you know for for situations like this. Obviously, you don't want anybody to get hurt, but you have 13 games in front of you to, to really prove that you're an NFL quarterback. So you have to look at this as an opportunity, don't you? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, uh, obviously, I think more focused, uh, more focused on this team. I think you know, there's a lot of people out there, you know, doubting us and you know, counting us out. And I think everybody in the building is you know excited and uh, you know we're, we're ready to keep, get rolling and um, you know win some games moving here on forward. A lot so, of you. Know, you Everyone was very impressed with how tough you were last year. Mm -hmm. I assume you don't want to be able to show how tough you were you know, <laughs> to that extent this year. Uh, I mean, obviously a lot went into that. Um, but you know, what can you do to minimize some of that punishment? Uh, just try and get the ball out of my hands quicker. Um, I think we've got a, you know, a lot better team than we did last year. And you know, I, you know, I really like the group that we have. And um, you know, obviously doing what I can do to get the ball out of my hands quicker and um, making reads quicker. Um, but just as a, as a whole team, I'm doing everything you know. Everyone can do the O line, receivers, running backs. Uh, you know, everyone can add their part uh, to help that. How does that make you feel when you hear so many guys talk up your toughness, and uh, and then do you turn it around on them and, and kind of give them some praise as well? Like, yeah, I mean, it's it's there? obviously it's it's a good thing. Uh, I think to to be you know, a quarterback in the NFL, you got to be tough, and, and you have to have you know certain qualities to, to be able to, to play in this league. And you know it's you know it's awesome to hear my teammates say that about me. But um, you know I, I think this is a real tough team. I think we got a bunch of tough guys on this team um, on offense, defense, special teams, and um, you know we're excited uh, moving forward. Specifically, <clears throat> what did it mean when you heard Ruben Foster say that? You ain't no Rudy Boo. Honestly, uh, yeah, I heard people people ask me about that. I, I still I don't know if I know what that means. So I don't. Know. I haven't seen the entire interview yet, but but people were telling me to check it out. It's you know pretty funny. Uh, but I mean, yeah. Have, have people come up to you and, and spoken to you and given you that vote of confidence personally, or are they just going about the week uh, business as, as usual? Um, yeah, I've gotten a lot of uh, support from from the team guys. Uh, you know, saying they believe in me and all this stuff and. Uh, which is great, uh, but you know nothing, nothing 
you know, drastically crazy. I mean, they, it's just, you know, the next man up, that's kind of our mentality. It's like throughout a season, a lot of guys are going to get hurt, and whether it's quarterback, whether it's any position on the field, it's just you got to have that mentality next man up, and you got to believe in, in that teammate um, no matter what the position is. CJ, Kyle said that um, Jimmy has been around. What's it been like to be able to speak to him this week as you prepare for your first start? Oh, it's, it's been great having him around, just, um, you know, being able to talk to him and, um, you know, ask him about certain things. Um, and uh, just having his, you know, presence, you know, in the facility, uh, being supportive of, of, of us and the team, it's great. Um, you know, obviously my, my thoughts and prayers are with him and uh, going forward, and hopefully he can recover and, and get back as quickly as possible. Like another coach now for you. What do you say? Is that like another coach now for you? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess you can look at it that way, yeah. In what ways do you, do you think Kyle has helped you improve as a quarterback the most? Um, I just – I think uh, just the knowledge of, of – how football works, how certain plays um, scheme up against certain defenses the best. And I think Kyle's the best at that, at, at drawing up plays for certain looks and coverages that work the best and why they work and um, you know, how to expect and anticipate certain things. Even you know in Minnesota and then the two touchdowns last week against Kansas City, there are a lot of open receivers running deep. How much confidence do you have just in him to, to put you in a position to succeed, Kyle? I've got all the confidence in the world in, in Kyle and uh, in, in my team, and uh, I think it you know starts with with coaches, and then obviously the players have to go out there and execute. And I've got confidence in in you know, every every last person in this building. So a year ago or last season, when when Kyle informed you that he was going to go with Jimmy, what did that do to you? What did it? How did that sit with you? Um, I don't know. That's so far in the past. It's, it's hard to look back back to that, but. Um, you know, I, I looked at it as an opportunity to grow and learn and, and, and get better and um, try and um, just be the best backup that I could be um, all the way up to this point and, um, and just learn from, from Jimmy and Kyle and, and take it all in. Kyle said, Kyle said some quarterbacks need early success to build confidence. Uh, you got thrown in right away and you took some lumps. How did that help you? And, uh, how did you prevent from losing confidence? Uh, I think just – I've got a – I think uh, – I've got a you know strong faith in in God and um, we've got a good support system in my family and teammates and just to know um, you know never get down on yourself in any situation in life and um, yeah I think that uh, I think that having not played last year it I think it'd be a lot different situation uh, at this point being my first game I think I'd be a lot more you know nervous or. And whatnot. I think it, it also helps having played in those games. You know, these team, my teammates have confidence in me because oh, he's he's been there before. He's you know he can he can do it. You know he can do it. You know so. In terms of the Chargers, what are your uh, initial impressions of them? And is there any extra spark you get by facing a team that you grew up rooting for? Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, honestly, it, it didn't really matter who who it was that we were going to play. Uh, you know, it was, yeah, it's. Just, Crazy that it is the Chargers. You know, I didn't grow up being a Chargers fan, um, but you know, I'm just excited to go out there and, and play. You know, whoever whoever it was going to be in this case, it's the Chargers. But uh, they're you know they're a good team. They got good guys on defense. Uh, they're you know explosive offense as well. We just have to go out there and, and play as a team, play solid on offense, defense, and special teams, and um, you know hopefully you know walk out of there with a win. Chargers with, with Gus Bradley run a scheme pretty similar to what you what you guys do here. Is there any benefit to that? Uh, are you going to this? Yeah, I mean, I, I think so. I mean, uh, you know, a lot of the you know the same same style defense, and you know, we gone against it in camp and OTAs and stuff. And obviously, they sprinkle on some different things and do you know different things. And I'm sure there'll be some new some new uh, things that they're going to game plan against us. Uh, you got to be prepared for, but. You know the base. The base stuff is there. You know, you know, three deep team, and and so are we. And I'm um, obviously having gone against the defense like that helps, but you can never you know count on it. You know, the, what they're doing you know, is always something different. Couple more. T. Uh, Kyle talked about your your preseason and just overall summer. He said he was very pleased, even though in preseason games your stats weren't necessarily eye popping. Mm -hmm. No insult to him, sorry. Uh, but yeah. I mean, how do you how do you uh, how do you assess your, your preseason? Were you overall pretty pleased? I know you're obviously dealing with a foot at the time as well. Yeah, no, I'm, I was uh, you know, I was pleased with it. I just felt a lot more comfortable back there. Obviously, there were there were plays that I missed, which I had, wish I had back. But um, 
you know, I said you know, a while back, I think for the most part, the ball was going in the right spot uh, most of the time. And, and that's what, uh, yeah, it's, that, yeah, it's good. So, um, yeah. Thanks.